The Fender Stratocaster 70th Anniversary Party continues, this time with a new Ultra guitar in one of the coolest finishes I have ever seen. We're going to tell you about all the specs, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast. It's called The Fretboard Confessional. And yes, we are doing a new episode. Actually, manana. So by the time you see this. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to hog tie him. Um, so we have a very cool looking new Strat. This has been on our radar. We've been waiting for it to come in. And it's part of the 70th anniversary from Fender, celebrating 70 years of the Stratocaster, if you can believe it. I know they all look like they you know, just came out in the 1950s, but um, there's been some changes. And this is the most modern interpretation of the Strat to date in, in this ultra guise. But this 70th anniversary version has a really cool finish on it called Amethyst. Amethyst. And uh, yeah, it's changing colors every single bit, like as the light hits it, it's very, very cool. Yeah, it wasn't until we actually got it in that I thought it was cool. None of the pictures, None of the pictures do, it do it justice. Like, you know, they should have some photos where they change the lighting a little bit, Fender. Um, because yeah, I don't think a lot of people, us included, have have really, understood what was happening with it. Yeah, but it's super cool. A um, couple of extra little things going on. It is an HSS, um, which we'll get into the pickups and everything. But in terms of 70th anniversary guitars, at the AV2, there's some custom shop stuff that we've gotten. Um, and then they're doing a player version. Mm -hmm. They're doing an American Pro 2 version. All that good stuff. This is the representation of the modern Strat that they're going to be doing this year. And everybody likes an Ultra Strat. I mean, they've been very popular. I think probably the most popular one that we have sold quite a few of is that Cobra Blue mm -hmm. HSS. HSS. Yeah. People love the HSS, especially with a modern kind of setup like this. It's a nice, you know, multi-purpose rock and roll stage guitar, but you can really do a ton with it, you know? It does all the things that a Strat typically would do, which is, you know, like second and fourth position. Yeah. That neck pickup is all still there, but when you go to first position, you have the thickness and, yeah. and you know the gain of a humbucker, so it really represents a lot of what you would want in a modern guitar. Yeah, like the uh, other ultras, the single coils on here are noiseless, and these are generation uh, seventy, I think. <laughs> They're they've stopped counting generations. Yeah, at this these point. are the newest generation. I think they stopped though. counting around gener like Gen four. Yeah, and everything after Gen that was four, just five, like something like that. These are noiseless. Um, and the humbucker is also noiseless, but well, it's not good. a noiseless pickup. That's good to know. Um, typically, in the ultras, you would see like a zebra shawbucker, correct? Mm -hmm. This is a quadratap humbucker. Yeah, that's a terrible name, but I think a good sounding pickup despite I the terrible name. I think it sounds name. good. Uh, it's quadratap, and that would imply <laughs> that there are four taps. There's not. I mean, I, I know, I, I think we can probably figure out what's going on here, that there's maybe four sounds available with it. Well, so right? you got you got one sound in first position, you have another sound in second position when it's split with the middle pickup, right? And then you have another sound in first position with one button and another sound in first position with another button. Yeah, uh, this is maybe is that the like, idea? <laughs> well, I don't know. So here's the thing. This thing has got two S1 switches. Your volume switch splits the coil. Stands for scrumptious, right? Yeah, scrumptious one. Um, Volume switch, press it in, uh, splits the coil. Tone switch makes it hot. But not the, not the tone for the bridge pickup. Correct. <laughs> Either way, you're rocking and rolling. So I guess what it comes down to is if you're in the first position, you can be split or not split, and you can be hot or not hot. And then... Sounds like an Instagram post. So yeah, hot or not, vibe or crime, but you can be hot while it's split. Yeah. You can be not hot while it's not split. So that's, I guess, four in and of itself. So it's just a boost. Yeah, it's a boost. Yeah. And then you got the same thing going on in the second position. So you can have two single coils, you can have a single and a humbucker, you can have a single and a hot single, and you can have a single and a hot hum. Hot singles in San Antonio. Hot singles are near you, all right? They're near you. 
And they're waiting, the waiting for your call. So I think we found our crossover yeah, there our sponsor today. <clears throat> so a lot of options with the pickups. They sound good. They sound like strap pickups. They sound noiseless. Um, and then like an ultra, got the nice contours, the most beveled uh, kind of heel that they do overall in the whole line mm -hmm. uh, with the 70th anniversary neck plate with the serial number on it, which I think is interesting because serial's not up there. Yeah. Um, so I guess if you don't like a nice roasted neck, you, can you could swap, swap it, it out and you're not gonna lose a serial number. But the Amethyst 70th anniversary Ultra Strat comes with a very nice roasted maple neck uh, that has the same kind of carve as a normal Ultra Strat. It's so very D nice. carve, right? Yeah, D carve. It's a shallow though. Um, modern D, modern D, I think, there you go. and then the Alux is augmented D, yeah. I think, diminished D, I think, <laughs> diminished um, augmented. I'm playing add thirteen. D. Yeah, add thirteen. So you got a nice D uh, that's roasted, uh, compound radius, and locking tuners, just yep. like any other Ultra. But overall, one of the coolest and most unique finishes that I think they've put out in recent memory. Yeah. Um, my first thought is, will they let us do a custom shop with this color? It's such a cool color. You, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Um, this is going to go way back. So, woo, way back, way back. In the late 90s, okay, uh, Ford released a special Mustang yeah. called the Mystique Mustang. And it had a special paint job. Uh, it was Mystique paint that DuPont did, and it was like this. That's cool. And, you know, back in the 90s, this is cutting-edge stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and Did we, Kevin have one? Uh, probably. Yeah. It was baby internet days, and we didn't have a lot to do. Friends had, you know, already gone off the air, so you needed paint that was iridescent. But the cool thing on those cars is it, like, almost looked black, yeah. kind of purple, and then it hit, you know, go under That's a light cool. and look really cool. That's what this does. Every single way that the light hits it. Now, they've done this in the Ultra with the, kind of that white finish, mm -hmm. but this feels like it was turned up to 11. It, yeah. it really has a cool prism effect to it. Yeah, it's very cool. It, they've not been shy with weird finishes, weird, with unique finishes um, in the 70th anniversary Antigua stuff. One in. Antigua, <laughs> one of the most popular Fender finishes of all time, uh, but the Nebula Noir. Yeah. You know, this is like, uh, if that's Nebula Noir, this is some other space pun that I can't think of right now. <laughs> but it's very cool. It plays extremely well Pillars straight out creation. the box. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah the Prometheus finish. Um, so, yeah, set up really nice. Uh, for the, the customer that says, can you please set that guitar up as low as possible without buzzing, it's already like that for yeah. you. This one specifically. So if you're that person, call us and ask for serial ending in 0129. Uh, this will be gone very soon, I bet. But if you want a perfect Fender setup, this is the one. Super comfortable neck. Fun playing with the pickups. You will notice as I'm doing the demo, I get to start in, you know, home sweet home up there. And then as I move down, I start messing around with stuff. I kinda, I'm kind of losing track over here. <laughs> as I'm playing with them, but I'm 95% sure that I've I get all of the sounds somewhere. So it's just a big sound uh, smorgasbord that you can feast on right now. Take a listen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Awesome. Well, there you have it. The smorgasbord, uh, or as we <laughs> call it in the 90s, boom shakalaka. Um, cool guitar. It's very cool. I think... The demand for ultras has not necessarily slowed down at all, mm -hmm. but I think it's cool to have another sort of flavor to throw in the mix. Everybody digs the Cobra Blue, the Arctic Pearl, yeah. I think it's called, Texas Tea. Those are all really popular finishes for us, but this is kind of way out of left field, something that's very cool and that's limited um, to this year. We have a handful that we've ordered we got two so far, and upon seeing it, I was like, well, we need to get in line for a few more, and they're already back-ordered quite a ways, so act quickly. Well, you know, and not to belabor the point, but I had, I had personally zero interest in this guitar until I saw it, and I was like, what? Yeah, it's super <laughs> cool. Um, shame on Fender for not doing a good enough job of showing us exactly how cool this was. Yeah, they just trusted that we wanted it anyway because it <laughs> seemed kind of neat. And then, uh, yeah, it came in. We did a video on our Instagram not too long ago with the Theodore. There was Vibe or Crime. This is, uh, everybody said Vibe on this. This is Vibe. Uh, no it, crime. So when I first saw the photos, it reminded me of Skyburst on the old, um, not the Ultras, the Elites. Do you yeah. remember those? Yeah. That's what I thought it looked like. Yeah. Um, I, you know, this couldn't be further from that. Um, it's pretty cool. And to Cooper's point earlier, you know, the, the modern features on this, like the staggered locking tuners and the compound radius, that's why the action's so low on this thing. It's it, just, yeah. You know, because you can get it low and it won't buzz and it's super fast. It goes 10 to 14, right? I yeah. Think. 10 to yeah, 14. 10 to 14. So a very flat 14-inch radius allows you to really get that down. You're not going to deal with any buzz, and you're not going to deal with any fret out stuff. So, yeah. very rocks. cool guitar. How much is this beautiful guitar going for? I think that one's twenty five ninety nine. Um, it's either twenty four ninety nine or twenty five ninety nine. Check the website. So just a small bump above a normal. Yeah, which Ultra. we've seen with the Pro Two. I think that one was maybe a hundred bucks more. Yeah. I mean, it's cool to have something that's. 70th kind of branded. I kind of like the little commemorative neck plate. Um, you know, case is nice. The case candy you get is nice. Um, and if you're kind of in that range already looking for an Ultra or with the Comet Burst looking for a, um, a Pro 2, it's kind of cool to get a unique option. It's kind of a no-brainer. This year, yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless you hate it, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Well, now, so this one is um, Amethyst. Comet Burst, Nebula Noir. Why didn't they do a, a, a space deal on this? Um, I don't know. That's yeah. They could have called it Milky Way. Dude. Milky Way, for Andromeda. sure. <laughs> Something. Yeah. Well, you know. You can call it whatever you want when you. Own maybe it. the marketing department at Fender could should hire us. Uh, we, can, we can name some Still. colors for them, like we've done for some other guitar companies. Oh yeah. Cut the check. Um, so, very cool guitar. If you want more information about it, you should go to alamomusic.com. Look at all the Fender stuff. We have the existing 70th anniversaries mm -hmm. that have come in so far. We got a couple of them left. We got the cool FSR Roasted Neck stuff. If you like the Roasted Neck, yep. but you want a traditional finish, we got Antigua's coming and Antigua wins. So, <laughs> from strats to clarinets. Yeah, <laughs> anything you want. Yeah, saxes, we got you. But yeah, this will be on the website. We got two right now, a couple more coming in. Who's to say how many total that they'll make, but I know we'll be able to place orders for a while and then just wait a long time. So uh, give us a call. If you want this one, ask for it because it feels really good. US240129. Yeah. That's the serial number that you want to ask for. Yeah. Cool. And let us know in the comments, uh, vibe or crime. I really want to know. We are we are in uh, unanimous agreement. Fine. We dig it. I'd love to hear from uh, the Ethernet. Um, <laughs> just let us know if you think this is a vibe or crime, and uh, yeah, and how you like it shipped to your address. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, keep coming back for more. We'll keep showing you some cool stuff like this. Thank you.